Hi everyone, my name is John Leitch and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about how to send simple emails from Google Apps Script. So here I have a spreadsheet where I have some information like name, email, title, project name, starting and due date, client focal point, client focal point email and also if the email was sent or not. This is an information for a project, so for example if I want to schedule someone on a client, I'll type in their information here and send them an email alerting that they should work on those dates in this client here and if they have any questions or want to talk with someone from the client they'll have the information from the person here. This is being typed manually but this could also be the results of a Google Forms. So if I had a Google Forms linked to my spreadsheet I could get the information from it. So I'll come here in Tools and Script Editor. This will open up my script editor inside Google Apps Script. Here I renamed the project to send project mail, I renamed the code to email and I wrote down my function here. Now how does this work? First I have to link my spreadsheet and also my sheet name there. So you can see that my sheet name is mailings, which is the same here, and I'm getting the active spreadsheet which is linked to this script. Then I have to get the information from my sheet. So here I have the range, which is coming from second line, first column, until the last line minus one to remove the header row. And then I get the last column. So this is the information I'm getting. The second line, first column, until the last line minus one, because Otherwise, this would count as a tree, so I have to count as true. And then the last column, which is the email sent. And now I'm putting everything inside my data array. So this is a matrix actually. I have the rows there and each column information. And then I have to read it one at a time. So when I read the variable inside data I'll get a row. So I have to get row from data i. And inside this row here, this data i, I'll have each column from 0 to h. So here I have row, data i, and this will have all of the columns inside the row. Now I have this line here which is just parsing these two ints because this is given as a string for some reason inside app script and I'm just adding two because I want to start at the second line. An important thing to keep in mind is when we are using functions inside app script the line count starts at one. If we are using vectors they start at zero. So i here starts at zero instead of two or one. So I have to parse it and then add true. Now this if condition is checking if the email was already sent or not. If I didn't have this, every time I run this script, all of the people here, of the employees, will receive the email even if they have already received them before. So this is just to make sure that they're not receiving duplicate emails. Now I'll get who am I sending this email to, so this is column B, as I said vectors starts at 0, so I'm getting the 1 here. Then I'm making the subject, the subject is static, so I'm just typing here a string called new client. And then I'm converting the dates. Now if I come here, I'll see that my data is actually here, it's in a date format. But if I'm using app script, this date format is actually considered a date time. So it will be my date along with the time here. This function format date 
we'll get my column 4, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so the starting date, and we'll convert it to just the date I want, not the time. So I have the start date and end date, and then I'm preparing the message. So I create a variable for message, and then I use hello, then I concatenate the second column, the third column actually, because it's the 0, 1, 2 here, and then the person's name, which is in the first column. And then when I use the slash n here, it's an enter. So this is just to break down the lines. Then I'll type, you've been scheduled to work on, then the client name, which is this one, the project, from start date to end date, then break lines again. For questions or more information, talk with the client focal point, which is this column here and then the client email inside parentheses. Now, to send the email is quite simple. All I have to do is call mail app, send mail, to mail, subject, and message. So, to mail, subject, and the message here. Then I will use the get range line, which is the line we created up here. And then I use column nine, which is the email sent here, to type in send. So after all of this information is sent, I'll add this so in the next time I run the script, it won't send to this person again. This function here is just to finish the script, just make sure that my value there was written, and to make sure that in the next run, it will write the value again. So if I run this, I already gave permission, so it won't ask me for permissions again. I received two emails because I wrote both lines with my own email account and those emails are Hello Mr. John Late, you've been scheduled to work on ABC Communications from starting day to end date. For more questions for questions or more information, talk with Eric Morgan and the personal email. If I come here, hello Miss Jane Stevens, you've been scheduled to work on Automation Z from start day to end date. And for questions or more information, talk with Robert Smith. And here I have the sent email. If I run this again, the email will run, the script will run, but I won't get anything new because they were already sent and I don't need to send this over again. Here I also created a menu, so I created a menu called scripts and I added the send mails with send mail function, which is the function name here and added it to the UI. So if the person wants to run the script, all the person has to do is click here on scripts and send mail and wait for it to run. So that's it for sending simple emails in Google Apps Script. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.